Hi, it's time to bust another solar grift, another solar boondoggle. They never end. We've got solar freaking pavements this time. Thank you to all the viewers who sent this one in. And hi to all my uh, Dutch viewers in the nether regions. Um, That's where this one is. And we're going to bust this wide open. We've got the numbers. Let's go for it. Solar footpath at Europa Park produces a lot of energy. Dutch city installs solar footpath. First Dutch solar footpath at the Europa Park, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's go into it. We've actually seen this before. It's from a company called Pladio. And I did a quick second channel video on this, just basically laughing my ass off at this Pladio solar, solar pavement uh, BS. And I'll link it in. You can go watch it. And there's the solar solar uh, platio tile here. They've done quite a few installations actually. They've um, got, that, that's the team I presume, to recharge. Look at this. <laughs> Self-recharging. Look, infinite power. But we're actually going to bust it with some numbers today because we've got them. Let's go. Hungary's Pladio has inaugurated a solar footpath in the Dutch city of uh, Groningen. Uh, the installation consists of 2,544 monocrystalline Pladio solar pavers with a 21.8% efficiency. It will generate 55,000 kilowatt hours. That's 55 megawatt hours of electricity per year and can purportedly withstand a pressure of two tons without micro cracks. Wow. Ah, oh, look at this. They're all happily walking on it. And this is part of uh, the Making City European Union project. And I couldn't actually find any funding value for this, how much they paid for it. We'll estimate some numbers, but if you've got uh, an exact figure what they actually um, paid for this thing, then leave it in the comments down below. And there's the technical specs for those playing along at home. And they're made of recycled plastic. We're going to save the planet. It makes double use of the space. You can walk on them. It's an example of how to use the space in a city in a smart and sustainable way. Really? It produced enough energy to power 47 Dutch houses for one day. Woohoo! And here they are at the unveiling. How much energy went into producing this uh, wanky, uh, big, like, styrofoam plug thing? Unbelievable. We've got a video. Let's watch it real quick. Look at this. Big photo up. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you have to show the logo. Got to get the logo. It's important. Are they funding it? <laughs> don't know who this dude is. Sorry, I don't speak Dutch. So, I don't know. I'll get the arty shot, of course. Look at this. It's quite a big installation, actually. Look at that. There they are. And we've got a, a cabinet, which has all the um, N-phase inverters in there. They'll show us that. Look at that. Beautiful. And, Beautiful. and we're going to go through these numbers. We've got them. Yes, we can bust this wide open. Yeah, sorry, I'll link it in. You can watch it if you want. But there you go. Look, it's quite a large installation. 2,500 of these panels. There we go. More. There you go. There's all the N-phase micro-inverters. Nice installation. Oh, another arty shot. Checking out the micro-inverters again. Yeah, it's producing power. It, it works. This thing is an absolute winner. It generates power that can power homes. So I'll show you exactly where this is. It is in front of these buildings here. Okay, I don't know how far along it goes. You can watch that uh, video again. And we can actually go in here and we can have a look at that. So this is where they've actually installed it. You might have noticed uh, those buildings there. So this is in Groningen here, which is uh, up the northern part of the uh, nether regions up here. And the thing you'll notice is, look at this building next to it, filled with solar panels. <laughs> this is the way. And then all these buildings over here. Look, solar panels, solar panels, solar panels, solar panels, solar panels, solar panels, solar panels. Are they solar panels? They look like solar panels. Solar panels everywhere. Does every look every house over here has solar panels solar panels and they want to install this boondoggle but no let, let's lay them flat on the ground so we can walk on them and then you've got like shadows from these uh, planter boxes on the side here and also potentially from the buildings as well unbelievable anyway right next to it there is more than the 400 square meters that they've got put them on these rooftops here you want to know why they don't do it Here's why the EU Making City Project aims to develop positive energy districts, PED, you've got to have a TLA, demonstrating the potential of innovative solutions to tackle climate neutral goals. Innovative solutions. And apparently they are giving, I found some info, they are giving up to $5 million to innovative solutions for 
um, to meet these climate neutral goals for each project can apply for up to $5 million maximum grant. So if you know how one, much this one uh, costs, then leave it in the comments down below. And that's how these solar grifts continue to work because there are governments which want a virtue signal and just throw money, tax dollars, your dollars into a innovative solutions, even if they make absolutely no sense whatsoever. And wait until you see the numbers, they're horrifically bad. But this is what we expect from solar roadways. I've done countless videos of all the different solar installations and solar freaking railways and solar freaking bridges, solar freaking cycleways and pathways and all sorts of ridiculous things. And then this one in Spain here. Oh, I forgot, I'd actually done this one. This is actually our Platio. Yes, I'd completely forgotten that I've already done a main channel video on Platio in, in Spain. They did this anyway. I'll link in that one. Seriously, I've done so many solar roadways videos that I I've just, just can't remember them. <laughs> They're a dime a dozen. I'll link in their website down below. Check it out. So they've got uh, various blog articles on all the installations that they've actually uh, done for this. It's, it's quite a lot. And this latest one is absolutely enormous. 2,500 of these panels, 400 square meters. Anyway, I was uh, able to find an old article from 2020, which mentioned, uh, gives a quote um, from someone from the company saying they're between 50 euros and 80 euros per unit. So uh, yeah, we've got, let's just run with a baseline of 50 euros, not including installation I don't believe um, this is just the list price for the panel how much does a cheapo brand solar panel cost <laughs> it's probably not too far from that and that'll be like 400 watts you're here to see the numbers let's bust this one wide open real quick doesn't take much you just have to do the research so on Dave Cad here, let's run through the numbers for the Pladio installation and we'll get a figure for a kilowatt hour per square meter figure and a cost per square meter figure, not including installation because we don't know what the install cost is. And I'll link in the articles down below. You can verify these figures for yourself. But we've got 400 square meter installation. We've got 2,544 panels. They cost about 50 euros each. That's a total cost minimum of $127,000. As I said, not including installation, which is quite significant, not including uh, those Enphase microinverters. I don't, they're, they're not going to have 2,000 Enphase microinverters. They've got multiple ones. They string them uh, in series and then use those on a microinverter, probably a whole row strip of them something like that don't know if you've got details leave it in the comments down below and we have courtesy of their website which was this it was on the installation day we can see here the Enphase um, Envoy app here we can see that this um, has produced 388 kilowatt hours over the last seven days and we know the date it was installed so there it is there 388 kilowatt hours over seven days now can we compare it can we get a like a realistic comparison with a nearby residential solar system? You bet you we can. We've done this in previous videos. Let's go over to pvoutput.org and I'm going to compare it with a nearby, like very close by residential installation. So the solar insulation, the weather, everything should be very similar. And we've got the data for those exact seven days before the installation. So check it out here, pvoutput.org. I found a nearby one. I found one with a photo. This isn't the closest one, but this is one that actually has a, a photo of their installation. They've got five panels here and five panels on the other side of there. So obviously this is, isn't even an optimized installation for the angles, but we've got the data on the panels. Here it is here. It's got 10 385 watt panels. We've got the exact uh, manufacturer's number. So we can pull up the data sheet for that panel. Uh, so we can work out the um, output per uh, square meter. And also we know uh, the cost of these things too. I just pulled it off uh, Google. So we're talking uh, 10 of these panels here, which uh, is in, equates to a total square meter of 17.8 square meters. And I found a price online. It could be less, leave it in the comments if you got a more up-to-date pricing, but I found 128 euros each. So $1,280, um, it doesn't include installation, of course, it's just the panel cost, but you know, we're comparing apples to apples over here. Okay, and we can actually get the data from this. And we know the date it was installed, March 24th here. So we can go to pvoutput.org uh, for this particular installation, I can show you where it actually is. Here it is here. It's there. I don't have the exact scale there, but it's only a couple of kilometers away, right? So it's that one there. It's the only one that had a photo with uh, the latest data.
Oops, sorry, I just realized I goofed the calculation, so I'll have to redo them. I did eight days instead of seven days. Anyway, it turns out it's 42.9 kilowatt hours for the seven days uh, before the installation date. There we go, nine, eight kilowatt hours, uh, 4.9, right? There was a, you know, a spate of bad weather here, right? Look at just like a week or two later. So this was a really you know, I mean, quite a terrible time, but because we're comparing two systems, Apple to Apple, nearby, they should get the same solar insulation, the same weather, you know, pretty much everything else. It should average out. So I'll just delete those, I'll redo that, sorry. 42.9 kilowatt hours over the same seven days. So apples to apples comparison here, it's as good as it gets. So it produced 42.9 kilowatt hours over the seven days compared to 388 because it's a much bigger array, 400 square meters. This is only 17.8. So we can actually now calculate the kilowatt hour per square meter figure. So we take the kilowatt hours and we divide it by uh, the square meters here. We get, you know, we can round that to one kilowatt hour per square meter for the Pladio uh, system. What do we get? For the just a generic non-optimized, remember different angled roofs, uh, rooftop solar system, just a kilometer or two away, uh, 42.9 kilowatt hours divided by 17.8 square meters, 2.41 kilowatt hours per square meter. It's practically two and a half times the output compared to the Platio, but we ain't done yet. Now we'll get the cost per square meter. This is not including installation costs, remember? 127,000 euros divided by 400 square meters, 318 euros per square meter just for the panel cost. Anyway, the rooftop system, $1,280 divided by 17.8 square meters is 71.972 euros per square meter. Um, that's less than that. And this is more than that compounded failure. So if we compare these numbers, the rooftop solar system, non-optimized, has 2.5 times the output energy for one quarter the cost. For the dummies who don't get it yet, I'll get the confuser out here. 2.5 divided by a quarter is 10. 10 times it is <laughs> rooftop solar is 10 times more economical than this stupid platio boondoggle. I can just hear the comments down below. Dave, you're just anti-innovation. If you supported this platio, this really innovative product, it'd just get cheaper and cheaper and it'd be on par to rooftop solar. No, it's never going to get anywhere near the cost of residential or commercial solar panels. They are highly optimized. Then the installation costs are always going to be lower. Just look at what's involved in the installation thing here from this Spanish one for the Platio uh, tiles. Look at all the wiring. Look at all the extra complexity in this. Think about all the embodied energy that goes into this. Yeah, they market this as, oh, these are, you know, made from recycled uh, plastic, super wanky, will, you know, save the whales and everything. And it, no, no, this is absolutely ridiculous. They're going to be it, like an order of magnitude, less reliable just from the installation and wiring and connections and everything else. And then you've got any potential problems with like physicality of actually walking on these things and then shading the damn things and doing, oh no, just stop it. Reduces CO2 production, my ass. The thick ass glass that goes into the, I think it's 10 millimeter thick glass that goes on top of these things and all the extra uh, cabling and connectors and wiring and everything. Like, and uh, solar panels are super, Super thin, super like manufactured, super low cost, you know, as about as low embodied energy as you can get. And they just want to do this boondoggle. It's going to be an order of magnitude more embodied energy. I'm sick of this crap. And then they only give you a five year warranty on this thing. I read it somewhere. At residential and commercial panels, you'll get 20 years, 25 years warranty if the company's still going, of course. But anyway, <laughs> like it's just, oh. So just stop it. Stop this boondoggle. And PV, this is one of the worst. PV Magazine is one of the worst offenders. People keep sending me PV Magazine articles. It just has the, like, promoting the latest BS. There's no pushback on, on it whatsoever. There's no critical analysis. It is trivial to do back of the envelope calculations like this. Where's the bloody journalism? You won't find it anywhere. It is 10 times worse. Like, oh. 
that's a piece of actual panel that goes on top of the solar panel. This is, uh, granted, this is not Platio, but this is from uh, Solar Roads in the Netherlands. And, it, like, it's just, no. When, you've got, when you need to protect this thing with a massively thick coating, you're going to get transmission losses. And you're going to end up with this kind of loss, right? You're going to get, like, a quarter of the output power. This is just the same for all these solar roads, solar pavements, solar freaking railway, solar freaking bridges, solar freaking disco dance floors and what have you. So can we please just stop promoting this rubbish? It is just an absolute boondoggle, grift, waste of money, but these companies still keep going because these governments want a virtue signal with your money to uh, uh, that they're doing something innovative until you've got solar on every one of these rooftops everywhere everywhere every car parking space everything until you've done that then we'll talk about putting solar panels on the bloody ground and walking and driving on them and riding your bikes on them i've been busting this crap for more than a decade now it's all the same bullshit the numbers never change and yes i know you want an update on the bruce oz our good friends at solar freaking roadways the og <laughs> solar roadway madness you remember when i did a video on the one million dollar funding that they got in addition to what was it i think four i can't find my original graphic but it's like four million dollars they already raised through various other things including the kickstarter thing or whatever it was uh, plus all sorts of government funding um and then they raised another million dollars well that one million dollars i'll give you an update they actually raised two and a half million bucks from that came campaign on Start Engine, they had 2,294 suckers who bought shares in solar freaking roadways. Apparently they're valued at $30 million, but they're still doing their grift. They haven't updated much, and yes, the webcam still works. You won't believe it, the original OG installation is still going. I think one panel has failed, so good on them. You know, pretty reliable. Still haven't driven a car on them after they've been in business. They've been grifting this solar roadways gig. I think it's for at least 16 years now. And companies like Platio will just steal your money through government <laughs> virtue signaling for these, you know, net zero bloody goals with innovative funding. Nothing innovative about putting solar panels in the worst possible environment. Just put them on every freaking rooftop it's not that hard and the netherlands what are you doing here's another article construction begins on solar cycling path in the netherlands the dutch province in north brabant will deploy a 500 meter long solar bike lane and test its performance over a five-year period it's not going to last five years we saw what happened to the last one and they even tell you in the article solar roads in the netherlands are not an unfamiliar concept you think? A bike path near Amsterdam was equipped with solar panels in 2016. Another one was built in 2020, both of which I've covered in the province. Uh, the feasibility and economic viability of solar roads, however, still remains controversial. Anyway, I'll end on some good news. Look at this. Unique in Germany happens the first solar roof cycle path. This is the way. Just like I've showed you the one in South Korea that's like 20 kilometers long or something. Like, until you've done all of that. Then we'll talk about putting them on the bloody ground. French seem to have the idea, right? New French law will blanket parking lots with solar panels. Anyway, that is thoroughly busted. I could do more installations and compare the numbers, but you're just going to get the same result. So please, just stop it. Stop it. But I, I don't think. No, as long as there's money to be grifted off the government, your money, then there'll be companies like this that will uh, take advantage of it and they'll <laughs> just milk that cash cow for all it's worth. Boo. No, wait, hang on. I was just editing the video and you saw the uh, overlay before. I uh, found a 400 watt panel for uh, like 135 euros. And if you run the numbers based on the size of their installation with the 2,500 uh, panels, 54 kilowatts uh, total, then you're looking at only one seventh the cost for rooftop solar. It's a no brainer. Well, at least it keeps me in business, keeps you entertained, and hopefully you learned something from that. And if you liked it and found it informative, please give it a big thumbs up. Give it a share to everyone you know who promotes, or, you know, you, oh, my mother promoted this on Facebook. Share this video with them, please. It's just, <laughs> we can't.
can't stop this, but at least we can have a good laugh and we can just keep busting them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time. <laughs>